Hey folks, welcome to another Nixos video. This is Nixos number 77, entitled Sane Python Script Generation with Nix. What the hits were in 1977. Welcome to the Hotel California. We can generate Python scripts in Nix through this Nix packages function called packages.writers.writePython3. And its entire job in life is to take a string of some Python and smash a hash bang a line at the top that points at a suitable Python 3 in your environment. And once uh, it generates the Python script, the Python script lives in the Nix store and it puts it in a place that is typically on the global Unix path such that you can just type its name at a command line. So for example, you might write some Nix like this to generate a Python script that prints hello. It uses this packages.writer write, write Python 3 bin function. Uh, which takes three arguments. And the arguments are a name, a attribute set, which is used as a set of overrides to uh, the write Python 3 bin function, and a string that contains the Python that you want to be placed after the hash bang. Uh, we're going to go through several iterations of this. This is the first one. I'm going to run Nixos rebuild switch. Uh, SWINX is just an alias for that ensure that it's on the path. I, I'm just going to run a new shell to do that. And now I will run my Py script. A loop from a Python script. That is amazing. While that is nice, usually it's nicer to keep your Python uh, external to your Nix because you can get syntax highlighting. We can do that by using an external Python file that is in bin myscript.py. And uh, it is relative to the file, the next file that I have that in. So it is in bin myscript.py. It is exactly the same Python that we had before, except that we are now reading it from an external file. We run NixOS rebuild switch. Exactly the same thing. Unfortunately, write Python 3 bin and friends are quite opinionated about the formatting of the Python that they will allow to be used to generate a script. Uh, so let's change the my script pi that I, my pi script pi that I just put in there to something that it does not like. Pretty innocuous, right? The hell you say. It is telling us that our Python is malformed. It's saying that we need at least two spaces before an inline comment. That is error number 261. And then the formatting of comment is also wrong, which is that it should be a hash and then a space and then the comment text. The reason this is happening is because write Python 3 runs our code through a linter named Flake8. And Flake8 doesn't just care about the executability of our Python. It cares about things like line links and numbers and comment formatting and line, fe line feeds between functions. And in my opinion, usually this stuff is almost always irrelevant for stuff that you're including in a Nix configuration. Even if they aren't irrelevant, the way I like to use of this stuff is to put my Python in a separate file so that I do have syntax highlighting. Uh, I am often working in an environment where I am in a customer's repository and they have their own linting rules about Python. And often they will use a different linter than Flake 8 or they will configure Flake 8 differently. For example, the black reformatter that's used by lots of people is not, it's, it's linting rules and its formatting rules about code are incompatible with Flake 8. In, in practice, what it turns into is clown cars where you are attempting to come up with some code formatting intersection that matches both Nix's requirements to meet Flake 8 linting rules and your customer's requirement to meet black rules. In the meantime, you care about none of it. Now, you can pass arguments to write Python 3 bin that will disable rule Flake 8 rules one by one. I have not figured out how to, how to disable Flake 8 altogether. We can 
pass in within this attribute set flake ignore and then a list of error codes that relate to linting rules of flake 8. So we saw before that the linting rules it was complaining about were 261 and 262. And I've told it to ignore 260. Let's see what happens. Okay, it still failed, but it only failed with 262. So I could continue to appease it by extending this list with other arguments that should match the rules that are failing. Uh, as I've mentioned, I haven't figured out a way to tell write Python 3, write Python 3 bin to not do any linting whatsoever. And I've decided that it is not worth the effort to try to appease each individual script with these ignore codes. I am going to show you a way to disuse write Python 3 and friends and just write executable Python scripts that have the same utility. We can use this packages substitute all function. We, we have to, in this case, we cannot supply this function a string. We have to supply it with a file name that contains our Python code. That's fine by me. You may or may not like that. Uh, but I am going to uncomment this here. And we'll take a look at bin mypyscript.py. And we note that we have this, this thing that our Flake 8 was complaining about. When we run this now. It will not complain about our linting. When we run it, we can't. That's because we have to manage the insertion of the hash bang line ourselves. And up here, I'm going to add a little bit of hair. This, this at pi at, will be replaced with the value of the argument to substitute all named pi, which is that. So now it will point at the at the next door path of, of the default Python for this system. Now can we run it? We can. So the composition of the arguments to this substitute all function. We have a name. Uh, that's the name that we use to execute the script. We have a source, which is the path to the Python. Uh, these two lines are boilerplate. They always must exist for this particular feature to work. And then we have the pi that replaces our, uh, our at pi at in our Python. One thing this doesn't allow us to do uh, that write Python 3 bin and write Python 3 and friends do is specify a list of libraries that are required by the Python script that we're writing. So let's say we're writing a Python script that requires pandas uh, in with write, with write Python 3 bin within the, the override attribute set. We could say libraries equal with next packet, you know, this stuff to give us uh, pandas within the executable environment invoked by the script. Uh, there's no such argument to substitute all. Instead, we can, we can create a Python interpreter that has pandas in it first, and then use that Python interpreter as the input to the hash bang line. And I'm going to change my bin file. Run NixOS rebuild switch again. Hello from a Python script with pandas. I hope that helps somebody. Clap.